Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? It's Rome No. This is Rome Knows Nothing. I just got back from the movie theater. I just went and saw It. And holy shit, guys, this movie was awesome. I mean, okay, let me, know, let me not get too excited here. So to start off, um, just for a little context for all you guys, I've never seen the miniseries, the old movie, um, never read any, any book, um, but this was right up my alley. I love good horror movies. There's just not a lot of them these days. So when I heard this movie was getting a lot of praise from the critics and the audiences, I got excited. So um, what really impressed me about this movie was the cinematography. Holy shit. I mean, there were so many shots throughout the entire movie from start to finish, okay? It didn't, it didn't stop. It didn't, like, cut away towards the end. The, this stuff was inspired. This was inspired filmmaking. Um, a lot of the takes went longer than a normal movie um, that you would see, big blockbuster-type movie you'd see in a theater like this. Um, it was shot like an indie film, and that's what I love. I love that sort of thing. I love a um, a movie that sort of has its own flair to it, uh, has some sort of like creativity behind the camera. I, I really dig that. I really like that. Um, and this movie floored me. From the opening shot to the final shot, the technicality and the cinematography just absolutely floored me. I was beyond impressed. So... <clears throat> With that said, um, I don't know anything about who directed this movie. I think it's Andy, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, Muchiel or something. I still have to look him up on IMDb. I have no idea what this guy's directed before. Um, the only writer that I recognized off the top of my head was Kerry Fukunaga, who um, directed the first season of True Detective. Uh, he was supposed to direct the Flash movie. Um, it, the writing was awesome. Some of the dialogue in this movie, I did not expect coming. There were a lot of, you know, quote unquote, inappropriate jokes. Um, it's probably some social justice warriors out there that will not approve of this movie. But that's what I sort of liked about it is that it felt like a throwback movie. It felt like an 80s horror movie. Um, that was clearly what they were going for. And it was clearly a, a success there's no doubt about it um you know I, I can't recommend this movie enough uh if you don't like horror movies do not go see this movie uh, i was completely uneasy the entire time i was i had goosebumps throughout most of the movie as soon as i thought that i was sort of getting comfortable and everything was going to be good boom something happens and you know there i go uh great it was great there wasn't a ton of those jump scares um they did a very good job of building the tension and releasing that tension um this is how a horror movie is supposed to be made i haven't seen a horror movie this good since i, I don't know probably the first conjuring just off the top of my head um i'm not a big fan of a lot of the horror movies that come out these days but this one set the bar very, very high. Um, anybody that's making any sort of, um, you know, blockbuster horror movie these days has to take a look at this movie because just how it was made, it, you got to emulate what these guys are doing because this was brilliant. Um, it, I don't know much else what to say. Uh, like I said, I just got back from the theater. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, so, yeah, I can't recommend this movie enough. I hope you guys all go see it. Um, if you do see it and you agree, don't agree, just drop some comments. Let me know. I'd love to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, uh, just hit the little red subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys next year. See you guys back here next time.